Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 26th of 2021, well, it is titled Pixels in the Sun. So what do we see here? Well, these are two images of the sun taken with what is called an hydrogen alpha or H alpha filter. And that looks at one specific wavelength of hydrogen. Now, of course, since the sun is made primarily of hydrogen and 90% of its atoms are hydrogen, this is something that allows us to see very easily light from the sun, but it's very focused at one specific wavelength. And therefore, in there, we can see a lot of the detail in the sun. Now we're also looking at the edge of the sun and you can see a lot of solar prominences around the edge in both of these two images. Now the images were taken earlier this month on June the 6th for the top image and June the 18th for the bottom image and both were taken from China. Now when we look at these we also see a number of things of activity on the sun so we can see various active areas on the sun dark spots and lighter areas that show more activity on the sun where the sun is unusually active. Now some of those dark spots are actually something different and in fact in the bottom frame you can see the International Space Station. So that is not a sunspot not a dark spot on the surface of the sun but actually a silhouette of the International Space Station as it passed in front of the sun from this location. Now remember that it's nowhere near the sun. The International Space Station is about 500 kilometers away. So not that far away, not that far away, it's still in the upper uh, lower edge of the space around the Earth. So just at the very edges of Earth's atmosphere. And it the sun is much further, much further away, 150 million kilometers away, not just 500 kilometers. So there's a great distance between the two. And that is why the space station looks so large relative to our sun. The sun is many times further away, but the space station looks relatively large because it is much closer. Now there is a, also a space station visible in the upper image, not the International Space Station, but the Chinese Space Station uh, that you can see there. It's in about the central portion of the image, a little bit smaller and sort of looks almost like a small plane uh, flying down towards the bottom. If you look towards the center of the solar part of the image there, you can see the darkest dark spot there is actually the Chinese Space Station as well. So if you time it right and figure out where these are going to be, then you can figure out what time you need to observe to be able to see the space station pass in front of the sun. So it takes some careful planning and knowing exactly the right location and the right time to be able to look. But it is something that you're able to uh, look at in a case like this. So that was our picture of the day for June the 26th of 2021. It was titled Pixels in the Sun. We'll be back in tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Ring Around Aurora. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.